I'm going to share my screen with you uh, now and take you into uh, the Moodle course so that you can see. So we'll do a little bit of sort of uh, pulling around like um, Doctor Who. You should now be seeing my screen. And I'm going to just come right down to two new sections that I've just opened recently uh, and show you what's there. So obviously all your practice material is still in Moodle and you know assignments and everything else are still relevant. So uh, Michelle has been submitting them. So yeah, you know, keep submitting them for feedback. So here are the two new sections that I've added. Uh, one is called reading and writing assessment. And you're seeing the screen as I see Moodle as a teacher here. So you can see there that you've got a form that's called Declaration of Authorship. You need to click on that and download it. And it, it basically just is a statement to say this is your work. You haven't paid somebody to come in and do it for you. <laughs> OK, which sounds <laughs> awful, but it's a formality that the university asks mm -hmm. us to do. Um, so we ask you to do that and to follow the naming format that's there um, and just sign it or type your name as a signature. Um, and then you'll be uploading it uh, when you upload your reading and writing assignment, which you can see on my screen here, but is currently hidden from students, as it will be, because it will only be available for the 24 hour time frame. Okay. Ah, okay, so it will become visible on the 4th of May and you'll be able to download from 9 a.m. UK time on the 4th of May and you'll have to submit and upload as you do with all assignments in Moodle, upload your finished version again with the naming uh, format as we've um, explained there. Um, above that you can see in the middle questions forum now, that is for any queries or questions that you have whilst you're doing the assignments, okay? Mm. So you can click on that during the and say, you know, and ask a question, yeah? So if you've got a question, you can put that there, and I will be online just checking that question forum and, and adding any information, okay? So... Mm. If anything comes up during the reading, writing, or the speaking preparation during that period, that's the forum to use. Okay, so those are all for next week. Um, the declaration of authorship, the questions forum, which will be available for the next two weeks, and the reading and writing assessment, which will become available on the uh, scheduled date which I've got, actually, if I just switch to here, you can see Beginners Accelerated is the 4th of May. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay, everybody okay then for week three? So that's the most urgent one, obviously. We'll move on now to week four. So the speaking assessment. So again, we've got a declaration, and I've made that available now. So you can download it now, and you can email it to me. Um, it can't be submitted mm. with the video submission because the video submission will only accept a video file. Um, mm. So you can either email it to me or message it to me to fill that in. Again, it's really just about reading the conditions. And they include, uh, as Josh asked this one, um, that you won't be editing the video file. Yeah, mm -hmm. no filters, no fancy footwork. <laughs> Just go what you're looking for. We don't want to see you getting some sprouting bunny ears and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't have to be. Um, you don't have to be physically in front of the or the um, oral the recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be a recording of your face. We just want the audio, really. Um, <laughs> we don't have an audio file format uh, submission, mm -hmm. so we have a video submission. Um, and you know, if you want to record it while the video is looking out the window or at something else, that's okay. That's fine. Um, but no editing, no fiddling around with that video. It video, and that will include your responses to two tasks and I'll explain a little bit about the tasks in a minute for obvious reasons I can't show you the exam submission but you can see it on the screen here again it will become available and in this case it will become available on the 11th of May for 24 hours 
Mm. Okay. Um, and you, again, you've got 24 hours to do that video and upload it. Um, I would always say, you know, bear in mind that anything that's slightly more technical can take a bit more time. So, you know, don't don't submit it at the last minute. Um, submit it obviously when you're ready. Um, if you've submitted it and then you know really didn't want to submit it, or you've submitted the wrong file or something, message me again through that questions mm. forum so that I can help you. Um, okay, so those are the two obviously vital bits that we're using to sort out the next two weeks to make sure that those of you who are finalists and intermediate year students actually um, can go through the process of assessment uh, and we can deal with it as efficiently and effectively as possible. Um, the marking criteria are unchanged. So the marking criteria are exactly the same as they have been since the beginning of the course and they are linked at the top of the go and look at them. Um, so and I think there's a statement on the um, uh, Warwick on the Language Centre page, the front of the Language Centre page that explains that marking criteria and the level <coughs> that we're assessing for are unchanged. Um, mm. So, you know, you, you're still being assessed at, at A2 level for your reading, writing and speaking skills. Always planned. Mm. Um, right. Is there, are there other things? Yes. So I'll tell you a little bit more about the speaking assessment. If I come back to this current week, so this current week's resources has um, speaking practice flip grid board. So I'm going to show you what this is and what it looks like. You may have noticed it in the recording I did earlier. So it's a Flipgrid. Flipgrid just is, is quicker and easier to use um, when you're uploading video, but it, it, it provides one grid where you can see everybody else's work as well, which obviously isn't quite what we want for the exam. So I'm going to just log in with my um, Warwick email account and agree whatever sell my children whatever <laughs> whatever <laughs> thing she throws at me <laughs> okay so you end up on this uh, virtual board which is oral assessment practice french speaking practice and i'm sorry but there's lots of recordings of me here <laughs> with face <laughs> uh, so up here you'll see i've there are two boards where i've recorded oral questions that you'll recognize already that we've had on a sheet and we've prepared and planned in class. There is no um, uh, uh, role play in this scenario. We're not doing role play at all. Questions. So there's a recording there of those um, oral questions that we've already been practicing. And this recording is the more advanced one. So this is the sort of ones that we would have been doing in class in weeks one and two had we all been able to get together. So looking at uh, tenses that we're perhaps less familiar with or that, or that you know, we've learned more recently. Um, so I've recorded some questions there as the sort of prompts really to get you thinking. Um, and I think Antu's been quite busy on Let's just, okay. So if I click on Antu's response here, Right. So you can see at the bottom of the video here, there's just a link that says reply. So mm. if you listen to those and then you click reply and record yourself or record your, you're looking out the window or whatever it happens to be, but you audio record yourself, I can give you some feedback on your pronunciation um, and help mm. you prepare for the speaking. <coughs> So that's how a flip grid works. It's essentially, as you can see, Antu is also just, uh, uh, you can see this big plus here. You can just click on that and record anything just for speaking. I think there's a maximum oh. of five minutes on this. So you can add a, any recording and I can reply and the reply will come to you as a link in an email. It's private and view viewable only by you. Um, so 
and she has done this in a couple of cases here you can see you're only seeing this obviously because I'm sharing my whole screen here um, if you were logging on with your Warwick address you would just see the ones from me and the recordings that you've made and any responses oh, that you've um, made uh, Teresa yeah um, I've actually checked um, this uh, Flipgrid a bit earlier on today and I was actually able to see Antu's videos as well. Right, okay. That's because I haven't actually locked down the resources. Oh. I think I this, uh, this grid, I, sh uh, I sent out an announcement and I said, I've done this as a classroom resource. So, mm. it's you know, because it's a classroom resource, recordings from other people will be visible. So it's not oh, okay. a locked down one. Yeah, but the feedback cool, cool. on a recording, so you, you can see Antu's ones that he's posted to the class, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but you won't see my feedback to him on those. Oh, yeah? no, no, for I, sure I've not, made, no. Yeah, I, I made video responses to those, but you won't see those. He will see those. Ah. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, does that make it... It's got lots of different levels of, of um, controls, but actually, because because this is a classroom one, I thought, well, we would be doing this normally physically in a classroom together in front of each other, and it's yeah. actually quite useful to hear other people um, and mm -hmm. get an mm -hmm. idea of what they said as a response. Um, of course, so, yeah. So yeah, that's the purpose of this one. Um, you can so that you you lock it down totally. Um, but mm. I, I thought it was actually more helpful to be able to hear each other. Um, oh, definitely, yeah. So that, that's why I've gone down that route. Um, Michelle, have you got any questions? Uh, no. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> that's, I'm hoping that's a good sign. I'm hoping that's a good sign. Um, so there, there's, I mean, obviously, there's the mock paper. There's not long left to do that. Let me just click on that to remind myself how much time we've got left. So two days and 10 hours. So if you want to get feedback on a mock reading and writing, you need to do that in the next couple of days. Um, because we've combined a reading and writing paper. So we've given you information in the first part of that paper that I talked through in the earlier video. And we're asking you to do a 250 word written response to that mm -hmm. so if you want feedback on on that technique which is obviously slightly different real thing you would have had a separate reading and a separate writing and the reading would have been lots of multiple choice and things so mm -hmm. this is a slightly different format so if you want to run through that format um, download that in the next two days and, and submit submit it to me so that I can look at it so it's available until lunchtime on Friday. And Ooh, uh, I, will get, I have, a, get you I have a quick question about this. Sure. Yeah, sure. Um, so usually how, uh, with, with all the other written assignments, you've given us 100 for completion. Um, That's right. But with, the, but with this one, um, would this be given like a detailed feedback or is that not appropriate since it's so close to exams? Um, with this as a mock, I, I will give you a, t a total. I will give you a mark, so that you oh, get an okay. idea of how you how you performed in terms of what we expect. Yeah. So I will ah, give okay. you on, on this one as a mock. I will give you a mark back. Um, I won't put it into Moodle. You know, the hundred that normally is sort of inserted into Moodle, but what I'll yeah. do is put it into your feedback. Um, so ah, you'll okay. get it through the feedback area rather than. Um, Hundred within Moodle for a completion. So if I've set a yeah. task, um, because the gradebook then in Moodle tells me how many people have done a hundred percent of the assignments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, but in this case, I think it's useful for you to get an idea of where you're performing in terms of this mm. type of reading writing assessment. So yes, I will give you feedback based on the um, marking criteria that we use for the final assessment. Great, thank you. Okay, and Michelle, because you'd asked me to do that, for you, so I have been doing that. So hopefully yeah. it's been useful, um, and you can see how you've been doing. Um, yeah, so absolutely, I will provide um, 
an indicator that sort of gives you an idea of how you're doing on that ass assignment. I think you, you're possibly aware this was a decision that was made at university level that um, there is a safety net in place, which means that you know no matter what happens in these distance um, assessments, you cannot bring your overall grade down. So the university has put a, a, a safety net in place to make sure that these final assessments, given that they're being undertaken under conditions that you weren't expecting, mm. cannot adversely affect your overall grade. They can positively affect your overall grade, obviously, but not negatively. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that puts your mind at ease. Right, is there anything else you'd like me to show you in the Moodle course, or shall we stop that sharing now? Are you, are you happy you know where to find everything in Moodle? Oh, uh, also, uh, just with the oral uh, questions. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, let me tell you. The, so, yeah, the oral. Oh, yeah. um, I, I can't show them to you, obviously, <laughs> but oh, I can no, explain no, no. them. Uh, <laughs> I can yeah, explain no, no, them. But, so I meant, um, but I meant like, uh, you know, the, the earlier video on Flipgrid that you uploaded yeah. Um, yeah. with the like, question personnel, uh, the, the sheet, uh, right. with that, is, is that available on Moodle as a PDF? Because I seem to it is. have lost the uh, physical sheet. Oh, okay. I don't think it's a PDF, but it is available. So if I go, oh, no, sorry, not assignments. If I go to resources on Moodle, mm -hmm. um, and if I just do a control F and put in question, you'll see there are several things that start with the word questions, but there are question personnel. Um, questions for revision. And I'll flick through a few because obviously the word questions appears a few times. Right, mm -hmm. so here we go. Question générale. Oh, okay. Num number eight of, of 11 that came back in resources, a selection of general questions. It's just a Word doc and it's one that you had hard copy in mm. class, but you can download it from there. Well. They are just examples. Yeah, example questions. Um, Thank you. Okay. So just to give you a little bit of an idea, the the oral exam questions will be will take the form of two prompts, two tasks. Um, mm -hmm. So they won't just be a single question. They're mm -hmm. two two or three brief questions on a theme. And really, they're just prompts. They're just ideas to get you thinking about and preparing and writing something probably um, to show what you know and what you can say in French. And that should take you no longer than two minutes <coughs> to say. So as you're doing your preparation, make sure that you can say that in, in about two minutes. Now, I don't mean like two minutes of, you know, really garbling it and throwing it out very quickly. It's <laughs> two minutes of speaking nice and clearly. <laughs> OK. Um, and there'll be a second task on a separate task and a few questions to prompt your thinking. Mm. Um, and again, you just prepare about two minutes again don't you know write an essay and then try and say it in two minutes that's not the point the point is just to show what you know so make sure particularly I think when we when we were in class we talked about you know what are we looking for well we're looking for you know, a range of language we're looking for you to show that you've got some nice structures in the same way as we do for the writing we do for the speaking we're mm. looking for you to recognize any sort of tense implications of the topic yeah um, mm. so you can show a range of tenses that are appropriate for the topic uh, good vocabulary things you can show nice expressions maybe a little bit of idiom if you've come across it and it's relevant for the topic mm. um, but bear in mind you know two minutes actually can seem quite long um, but you know you've got time to think about this over a 24-hour period to plan it out just like you would with the writing decide which are the best things to say and the things that you know how to pronounce and show what you know show what you can say 
Mm. So that's really what we're looking for. Um, but this will all be submitted in the form of one video, a single video, so you record it. If you go wrong or you say something you're not happy with, it's okay, just carry on. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about you know, taking things out or starting again. Just you know, prepare yourself, read it through perhaps a couple of times yourself. You do the recording, um, take some notes. You can read from your notes, that's okay, but bear in mind we're looking for natural language. You know, it's best if it's not a script really. Um, so the ums and the ahs, as long as they're French ums and ahs, <laughs> so rather than being um, they're uh, alors, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's get French in this. Um, you know, record your best French speaking. That's what we're looking Ooh, for. Oh. Um, I also have a quick question on this. Yeah, carry on. Um, so when it comes to the speaking exam, would you would you be looking more for whether we can speak colloquially as as close to natural French, or or would it be more to be like formal and academic? Um, yeah. I'd hesitate to use the word academic, <laughs> but okay. we, do want, <laughs> we do want French as it's spoken in France. We don't want uh, Verlain or, you know, there are, there are very uh -huh. sort of slang versions of French. That's not uh -huh. appropriate for an exam setting. <laughs> okay. So it's, because it is an assessment, we're, we're looking uh -huh. for um, obviously language that's appropriate for task. And in, there are two tasks, as I say. Um, okay. Spoken nice and naturally. It, I mean, it certainly doesn't have to be very strict and formal, um, but it shouldn't include lots of slang and um, mm. terms that wouldn't be acceptable if you were talking. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so specifically, I saw in the textbook, um, it, it said it, it mentioned certain words, and next to it in bracket, it, it said colloquial. So, for example. Right. Um, uh, there's a there's a different word for for company, but in the textbook it said uh, what, and said that was kind of like a colloquial version of of saying the word company. So would right. that yeah. would using those words be okay? That's okay. That's colloquial and not slang. Colloquial okay. as you know, colloquial language is acceptable you know, in in this context. Uh, but but slang or um, swear words, that sort of thing, okay. yeah, you want to avoid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you were talking about you know maybe looking for a job in a in a company, you could mm -hmm. describe that as une boîte or une ferme mm. or une entreprise. Mm. Your your language choice there is is quite broad. The word the word in French for travailler, which the the colloquial word is is often bossé, bossé. The word bossé, mm. bossé is acceptable and and everyday language. It would be used between uh, you know peers, mm -hmm. so that's acceptable. It's the the word sometimes in dictionaries and things you'll see a reference to uh, argot or slang or mm. Um, or just pejorative language. Yeah, we don't want that. We want okay. proper French. <laughs> Things you wouldn't you wouldn't be embarrassed to say in front of you know in front of a teacher. Yeah. Yep. It's a difficult distinction to make. It is quite a subtle distinction. So you know, it it varies according to different contexts mm. but if in doubt go with the word you found in the dictionary first or the word you you know the word that seems to be the yeah. most regularly used in the context does that help okay. yep yeah definitely. it's quite it's quite a complex question but yeah <laughs> <laughs> right are there are there any other sharing now so that we can come back into the room i'm just wondering for <laughs> The questions, uh, will it be uh, in an audio form, format or? No, they're written no. questions about this. I'll, I'll switch the recording off now. Um.